from Better Biz Academy, and this week let's chat about deciding what kind of virtual assistant can help you the most. So you've come to the conclusion that you need help. You can no longer do it alone. Congratulations, this is the first hurdle to outsourcing. Given that there are so many solopreneurs today and people dipping their toes into a side hustle business while they're working a full-time job, the tendency is to handle everything yourself. That's how you started your business. That's how you grew it. You may even think that that's a huge part of the reason you've been successful is because you've been in control of every single aspect. However, there eventually comes a time when you need to outsource and hire somebody else to help you, but that first hire is an important one and you need to realize that there are things that you can do to increase your chances of success with the outsourcing journey. Now, you might need only one general virtual assistant but you might also need to contract with a couple of different people. My team ebbs and flows anywhere from two people all the way up to six, depending on what tasks need to be done. Some people are working more consistently, but other people are jumping in a couple of times a month to help with specific tasks. So let's chat about how you can figure out the first person you need to hire or what you need to outsource next. I encourage you to, for a day or for a week, Keep track of every single thing you're doing in your business. Yes, it seems tedious. Use a tool like Toggle, that's T-O-G-G-L, if you are interested in doing it digitally, you can also do it by hand. Just even rough estimates help. Hey, I spent 20 minutes on social media, I spent an hour in putting an email newsletter. Whatever you're doing in your business, if it's consistent day to day, then I would do it for just one day. But if you're a little all over the place, do it for an entire week. Then look back at that and you're gonna ask yourself two important questions. First of all, what of these things do I not like to do? Those are easy things that you can outsource, right? Sometimes you can't outsource the tasks that you don't like to do yet. Maybe you can't afford to do it yet or maybe you don't trust another person just yet. But there should be some tasks on this list that match up with this idea of things you don't like doing. And then that second question is, which of these things are not generating me money or taking a lot of my time? Those are obvious things to outsource. So for me, that was social media. So I knew I needed a social media VA. It was one of the first people that I hired on my team because I just didn't have the time to do it myself. So the answer to those two questions should hopefully reveal some of the tasks on your daily or weekly tracker that could be outsourced to somebody else. Now, there are many different types of VAs out there. Some are general VAs, meaning they'll handle all kinds of different responsibilities for you. Others choose to focus on something particular. For example, I have a Pinterest VA and I have a podcast editor, so they have very specific tasks and certain projects that they work on. So you may want to outsource to a specialist like that. If you have a need for a lot of graphic design, you'd want a graphic design VA. You may hire someone specifically to manage your podcast or your YouTube channel. You may hire a customer service manager who's gonna answer all those emails you get all the time and to direct things into a customer service queue when your clients have questions. Ideally, the tasks that you're gonna outsource are those things that are not making you money and that you don't like doing or you don't know how to do. Now, certain things don't make sense to outsource. For example, I don't outsource any of my content writing. If there's a blog that's posted, um, if there's a YouTube video I record, obviously I'm creating all of the content that's going out on those channels. A lot of people are also uncomfortable outsourcing financial tasks. That's fine too. So not everything that comes up from your list is going to be something that you wanna outsource at all or right away. But this can help point you in the right direction so that you have a better idea of what you're looking for. Comment below with the type of virtual assistant that you think you might need or that first task that you're thinking.